When it's all said and done, I would be carrying the G5 myself if I'm going to carry a lumpy wallet. Pelican G5, flip side four. Let's set the flip side aside and talk about the G5. This is designed in the United States and made in China. It's made from an aircraft grade aluminum shell, stainless steel hinge pins right here, as well as an interior elastomeric strap and mesh organizer, which is right here. That's what all this is. And you can see it's the same material on the interior. Now, what makes this really impressive is this G5 does have an O-ring seal. You can see how that kind of fits in right here. That's the O-ring, which means, and you can see this gradient of this uh, right here, as it closes up, this becomes IP67 rated. And so what that means is that this is completely rated against dust as well as water and could be submerged for up to 30 minutes. I think it's in one meter. From a feature perspective, it does have this external wrist strap for all you ladies out there and an exterior rubber strap for quick access items right here. Uh, whatever you want to put here. It's sufficient to hold anything really nicely. It has this channel right here to maintain this strap so it's not going to move very easily from side to side. Now we do have this really nice closure snap so there we go and it has a, a really good lip here so you can get your thumb to open this up we come to the interior and see that we have these two sides now this I think definitely both sides can be used for cards but we have this little shelf right here where, can car where cards can slip into and you can do cash really anything that can fit in here that you can actually close it is what you can put in here it's that simple all right let's look at the flip side Flip side four, this is designed and manufactured in the United States. It's made from a high strength polycarbonate aerospace grade aluminum, which is this, the pieces in here, which is the pin, with a crush resistant design. There's always the concern that with any in introduction of technology, you increase the likelihood of failure over time. Now it reports of the spring slowly losing its strength instead of, you know, pow, uh, have been reported, but otherwise it seems to be fine. There's an external rubber strap that's the attachment. We'll look at that quickly. And there also has other attachments that you can purchase and put on here. And uh, the flip side does not have a gasket. So uh, there's no IP rating. And so this would be susceptible to dust, water, and so forth. This has an exterior strap. I mentioned that right there. So very much like the G5, we've got a strap right here for cash, a quick card, whatever you want. Of course, this nice spring just automatically, boink, gets this open for you. And we see that we have one, two, and if we bring this over, three card slots, as well as cash. You can fold cash once or twice, depending on the currency that goes right here. And that is a review of the features of both of these wallets. Keep track of the differences and see how you do at the end. All right, so let's get the comparison side of things here for us. The G5 can hold up to six cards in cash, folded twice. The flip side, four, up to eight cards and 10 slips of cash folded once or twice, depending on the currency. Measurements, we see that the G5 is three by three by 0.8. The flip side is 4.3 by 2.8 by 0.8. The uh, G5, being a lot of aluminum in there, weighs 147 grams or five ounces, with the flip side being 85 grams and three ounces. Now the build differences between these two, I'm sure you've already been keeping track of. We have an aluminum grade, or aircraft grade aluminum shell, hinge pin as well as uh, stainless steel. We have this uh, elastomeric lining in this one, it's all one piece, and more importantly, the biggest one is the O-ring that we have right here on the G5. We don't have the O-ring on the a flip side four. This is, however, polycarbonate, which is a synthetic resin all throughout the wallet, and it has this aluminum hinge pin and spring. This is very much lighter, as you noticed in the numbers, than we have with the G4, and it is a bit more manageable by way of size, the G5 being a lot, lot taller. Now, if we look at usability really quick, let's take the G5. The latch uh, provides enough face and lip, like I mentioned before. You can get your thumb, so if you have gloves on, it's easy to grab this and flip it open to get into the wallet itself, and you do have to engage to get it done. You're not gonna accidentally open this wallet, which you could with the flip side four. So this will stay sealed deliberately. The interior elastomeric strap and mesh organizer are both slightly flexible. So they're a little flexible, uh, but it, you're not gonna be able to put crazy amounts of things in here just because it's a hard shell. And again, the top is better suited for cards uh, with this cradle at the bottom for anything else you wanna put in there. Now we look at the flip side four, the snap closure with the spring gives you that opening. Now that's also could be a detriment where you accidentally hit it, uh, whoopsie, and woo, yeah, it kind of gets out of hand. But that is something that you could really live with, honestly. But it does make it easier to open. And to extract cards from the slot on the shell wall, you need to slide them out with your finger or thumb. Let me show you. So we've got a couple options here. 
uh, everything slides in and is maintained here as an example and it was maintained here. Of course we have another one over here which I kind of like and I'll explain why where cards slide in. Now you you have to grab these to get them out. There's a little bit of a wall here you have to contend with but your most used card is probably this one right here and seriously I don't know why you couldn't just tap pay from right there or it's just an easy pull. So this is really your quick access card slot. And if you don't carry a lot of cash, you can certainly use this for more cards. That's why its capacity is really high in what it can pull uh, and put in the wallet. Now it, it does. It is unfortunate that this does not have a seal. You would think that based on the design, the way it's set up, that it would have a seal to shut. I think this would be an amazing, amazing wallet if they could create some kind of a seal on this with an O-ring and really make this, give it an IP rating. Okay, so what does this all mean? If you've been keeping track, the comparison items of interest include the G5 has an IP rating, the flip side does not. It's that O-ring thingy that we keep talking about. The flip side four slots for cards and cash is really various and really attractive. The G5 has two. The G5 is made from aluminum, the flip side from polycarbonate. The flip side is a bit easier to access and is slightly lighter and smaller as we noticed than the G5. Makes it a little easier to carry in pockets. Overall the G5's build quality is better. Uh, you know the build confidence is higher than we see in the flip side. Now when it's all said and done I would be carrying the G5 myself if I'm going to carry a lumpy wallet. Especially if I work and play outside where it's wet, dirty, dusty, whatever that environment may be, dust destroys your cards. With all that said, if you own these wallets, what do you find that's better or lacking through your own personal experience? Let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.